one thing to say. In one fell swoop, you have risen to be the envy of every fund developer. There are no seats in the house. Good evening, I am Faye Washington, and I am here to welcome you to this inaugural ball, I'm gonna say ball, I'm gonna say the Empower Her Institute Girls to Greatness Gala Reception. Thank you for being here. Your presence is truly a testament to this evening. Betty has been uniquely positioned to be concerned about the empowerment of young girls. And I say that because she and I have kindred spirits. I'm head of the YWCA, and I think she kind of picked up the bug that hit me some time ago, and she said, I'm gonna do that also. I'm a member of the host committee for this event, and I'm honored to tell you about just how all of this got started. You know there's a story behind everything, right? <laughs> she may not want me to tell it, but I'm going to tell it anyway. Because if you don't want something repeated, what should you do? Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> well, she didn't, and I am. <laughs> Imagine this. A young girl graduating high school. She finds out she's pregnant. What happens? Does she drop out of high school? Does she go on with her life and, and do whatever? No, not this girl. This girl was determined. She graduated from high school. And she was so determined not to become a statistic that she said, I'm going to go one better. I'm going to college. Hey, she graduated. She didn't just go to college. <laughs> she graduated from Cal State LA. She got a BS. I can just imagine what went through her head as she is trying to figure life out. Because you see, this young girl was pregnant, and now she has a baby. <coughs> I had a baby. It was difficult for me to raise it. I had a husband, a job, da 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 da, da and it was still difficult. But Betty said, I'm going to do college. She got her BS. I probably would have stopped there. She said, no. I'm going to get an MBA. She did. Pepperdine University, while still raising her child. Then she said, no, I need a job because I deserve the best. So she entered the corporate world. She earned titles such as the Director of Worldwide Sales Operations <laughs> for Digital Equipment Corporation. And that title probably tells you she didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> anytime the titles are real long, you don't do that much. <laughs> but she was there. She was senior executive for the World African Network in South Africa. She went global. She was a global alliance manager for Sapient. And she she got all of that, she did all of that, and I'm certain what she said. To whom much is given, much is required. She thought about what had been given to her, and she knew she did not have the right to retain that. And she said, I'm going to enter back into this environment I'm going to reduce the dropout rate of high school girls, and I'm going to do this by mentoring them and training them in skills 
And you know what happened after that? Empower Her Institute was formed. Is that not amazing? <laughs> Empower Her Institute has created a sisterhood for over 2,000 young girls. Oh my God, where they would be were it not for our leader. The institute that has been created by this young woman who said, I'm going to be determined and I'm gonna make it. And then I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna make certain that other young girls make it also. I was told this story and I just said, Betty, I'm sorry, but you got to tell the story in order to feel the power of what it is that you're doing. And I guess I've said her name enough times so it's not a, a wonder about the story and who it is. But ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Betty Lamar. This is really a dream come true to have all of you here working with us, celebrating with us the 10 years that we've been focused on this work. And I just want to take just a few minutes to acknowledge, you know, we, we stand on the shoulders of so many people because none of us do this alone. And I want to acknowledge very quickly, I would like to have our Empower board, board members stand, please, as well as our founding board members. So this 10 years ago, these women were, were part of this. Please stand. <laughs> to acknowledge our gala host committee, all of the host committee members, please stand, along with Faye, of course, she's already standing. <laughs> I also want to just quickly thank our presenting sponsors, Southern California Edison, the Los Angeles Sparks. Thank you. And we have our sponsors, Honda, Bank of America, IMRI, United Way, U.S. Bank, Fostering Executive Leadership, the YWC of Greater Los Angeles, Elisa Fraudelick, and Creighton W. Lee. Thank you all so much. It's great to see the people, it's great to see the, the kids, and it's really sad to see the problems that Empower, that Empower is, is dealing with. I mean, this is an epidemic. I mean, a dropout rate of 50%, that's unacceptable. Um, I mean, this is, this is the generation that is going to take care of all of us. You know, that's our future. And if our future can't read or count, we in a lot of trouble. Um, but that's why we're here, to do something about it. That's why Empower Her exists. Change begins with little steps, like creating the opportunity for girls to build their confidence by acknowledging them, and also by acknowledging their talents. Um, there's a young lady who's been with Empower Her for two years, a young lady named Luz Figueroa. Uh, she started the program and she actually has an amazing amount of talent. She loves to sing. And when we asked her if she would share her talent with you, she kindly said yes. So please, let's give her a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Luz Figueroa, and I was born here in Hollywood, California. Um, I moved a few times, but I really liked it because I lived in new places and new environments. Um, my mom and dad are both from Guatemala. Uh, my mom came here at the age of 17. My dad came here at the age of 18. 
money. My, my mom gave me extra classes like hip hop, dance, cheerleading, choir, ballet, piano, and other stuff, and did the same with my sister. When I was very young, my parents got the they got divorced, and my mom had to raise me as a single mother. <laughs> Although I tried very hard to fit in at school, they would always make fun of me because I wasn't one of the smallest or the prettiest of girls. <laughs> but then thankfully, I was introduced to Empower Her. Empower Her has made a huge difference in my life because it has helped me move on from the bullying, allowing me to accept myself way more than I ever have done before. It's also helped me deal with problems and challenges with friends, school, bullying, boys, and everyday real life. So being empowered is now a big part of my life. What empower for, empowerment means to me is being a strong person and being proud of my own skills and looks. It also means accepting my own flaws, and not being afraid of the real you and not caring of what other people think. Now that I'm older, I can be thankful and appreciate things my mom has done for me, like being one of my biggest supporters and in my lifelong dream of becoming a singer. And I would also like to thank you, Empower Her, for teaching my biggest life lesson. It's okay to be me. reflection in the mirror why am I doing this to myself losing my mind on a tiny error honey they let the real me on the shelf no 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 don't lose who you are in the blur of the stars seeing is deceiving dreaming is believing it's okay not to be okay. Sometimes it's hard to follow your heart. But tears don't mean you're losing. Everybody's bruising. Just be true to who you are. Brushing my hair, do I look perfect? I forgot what I do to fit the mold, yeah. The more I try, the less it's working. Cause everything inside me screams no, 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 yeah. Don't lose who you are in the blur of the stars. Seeing is deceiving, dreaming is believing. It's okay not to be okay. Sometimes it's hard to follow your heart. But tears don't mean you're losing, everybody's bruising. Just be true to who you are. Yes, no Z goes fake shows like whoa. Just leave me alone. Real talk, real life, good luck, good night. With a smile, that's my own. Yeah, that's my own. Don't lose who you are in the blow of the stars. Seeing is deceiving, dreaming is believing. It's okay not to be okay. Sometimes it's hard to follow your heart. But tears don't mean you're losing. Everybody's bruising. Just be true to who you are. Stephanie, Stephanie um, Lily Bell is a colleague of mine. 
and um, she couldn't be here tonight, and that was uh, a nice intro. And um, oh god, it's not this cry, but <laughs> Stephanie, I've known her for about uh, ten, you know, ten years, and was able to bring her over the bank because she um, truly um, is committed to the community, and I wanted to make sure that the Bank of America had the the privilege and honor of her service. Um, what a great evening tonight, uh, filled with excitement and energy for an inaugural event. Congratulations to Betty, um, the committee, the Leadership Council for pulling together such an amazing event. In my lifetime, I've been to, a ma to many events, and this clearly is a special one, so congratulations. Um, we, yes, a round of It is great to be here in front of you tonight, and um, again, a wonderful organization, colleagues, friends, longtime uh, some supporters of Empower. But it's all, all obviously an honor to be recognized along two distinguished individuals, Elise Buick. Um, I've known Elise for some time now, and we've worked together. We've done some incredible and important work at United Way. So congratulations, and we look forward to our continued partnership. And to Penny, who I have not met, but I know she's in the, in the, in the room, um, congratulations on this award um, in terms of bringing together pairing sports and enhancing the lives of youth. I think that's so incredible. So congratulations and a round of applause for you too. I have been blessed um, growing up in a, an environment with nurturing parents who have instilled in me the importance of education, work ethic, and have been, I have been fortunate in my career to have individuals and role models um, who have mentored me and helped me along the way. The first and for, for, foremost, they've cared for me and in my development. And as I reflect back at those individuals who've supported me in my career and guided me with, through hurdles and success, obstacles, there's a few, interesting enough, um, they have all been women. Um, they have provided me with the right blend of trust and guidance and have celebrated my achievements. They've encouraged me to pursue life and challenges and for them it was never about being perfect, but about being passionate and overcoming obstacles with determination. For the young women tonight, and I've met a couple of you, uh, I have a message for you. As you continue your own pursuits, first and foremost, make yourself your number one priority. Be in the driver's seat. Commit to education because that's an incredible and important tool as you get through your life and your own personal growth and development. Be fearless, outspoken. I look at Luz, who is incredibly fearless. I could have never done that at your age, getting up and speaking and singing. Um, continue that. Don't be afraid to try new things. The things will challenge you, especially those that will challenge you, because those will inspire you and keep you motivated. And I hear it all the time, but never give up. Um, if, some, if something knocks you down, make sure you let it go for that day, but get up the next and try it again. You will all have greatness in you. And what we need to do is, like I've done, is continue to surround yourselves with individuals and encouraging people who will help you along the way. I have seen and met some of the women who work with you. Continue to encircle yourself for those, with those women. They're your future role models, your mentors, and your friends. And they will help you with your personal growth development. So with that, um, I stand here for you today, very humbled, but encouraged by this recognition. Um, all of you here today with the incredible amount of support you just showed, there's, the light is bright. There is a bright future. And I'm very fortunate to have worked with a company um, like Bank of America for almost 20 years. I started when I was five. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Um, and I've worked in the field of philanthropy and for a company that is committed to communities and committed to, committed to inspiring youth and leadership and advancing the local communities through our investments. And in meaningful and, and genuine ways, we engage in, in, in really wonderful ways. So I want to thank my Bank of America teammates who are here tonight, my family and friends. 
um, and uh, most especially my mother. A true woman, well, obviously she's a woman, she's my mother, <laughs> who's been a role model, who's instilled in me respect, we talk about respect, um, humility and strength, and continues to do so today. So thank you, thank you Empower. to Ms. Figueroa's story there and Jade on the film. It's interesting because, you know, I come from a family from Washington, D.C., and my mom was the only person to work in the home. And my mom held two jobs. And my mom was a maid. And the one thing she always told me was, I do this job because I want you to be better than I am. Mm -hmm. And to be, you know, to go on and live the life you want to live. But the one thing she told me was dream and dream big. And this is what I want to say to all the girls in here. I read this quote when I was maybe like 15 or 16. And I want to leave every girl here with this quote because dreams do come true. Because I'm living my dream. Mm -hmm. I tell everyone in my office all the time, if I were to die today, I would be okay. <laughs> because I've had an extraordinary yeah. life. An extraordinary life. So I want to leave you with my most inspirational quote. What I live my life by today is, and this is why I say dream and dream big. Because if the mind can conceive it and the heart can believe it, then the hand can achieve it. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And I've been to have, like I said, an extraordinary life. So remember what I just said. If the mind can conceive it and the heart can believe it, then the hand can achieve it. So I would like to leave everyone in here with that. and commitment to young ladies. And we share at the United Way her vision that all students will graduate, especially our young ladies. And I stand before you, uh, I was, I've been at the United Way for 20 years, and I never dreamed that I would ever have this role. And it was because I had some amazing people who really believed in me. And I think as we encourage young ladies and to the young girls that are here tonight, we always have to ask the question, is it possible? Is it possible that I can graduate high school? Is it possible that I can be a CEO? And then we have to ask the question, do I believe I can do it? And there's a lot of people in this audience tonight who um, I didn't believe I could do this and they encouraged me. And then is it possible to have people who say, I believe in you? So I stand up here and if you'll indulge me, um, I don't do any of this alone, and I would like to call up my staff team that's here and two of my volunteers that are here, Lisa and Carol, because I accept this award on behalf of my great team because it's the only way I can be the CEO and the working mom that I am. So can I have the United Way team come up? Yeah. 
Thank you guys so much. Um, now to uh, close out the evening, um, it's been a wonderful, wonderful <laughs> evening. Um, pretty good first gala, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Very, very inspirational people. And, you know, and but to, to close things out, I'd like to bring up uh, the co-chairs, Denise Clements and Georgette Huckabee. tonight to thank everyone um, that made this happen because there was a lot of hands and a lot of big hearts and, um, and and we wish we did we don't for all their their love and their hard work and just the gifts that they brought but we do have some thanks to give we do we do so first of all thank you PFP Productions Pamela Ferrari and her team for making this all happen <laughs> home, <laughs> they are in bed, getting ready for school tomorrow. Uh, there are student ambassadors from ICF, Inglewood Middle School, and, and Environmental Charter Middle School, and Thurgood Marshall Middle School. So thank you very much. We have from, oh, Santee High School. We also had a lot of volunteers. Um, I would say hundreds of them, there's probably 50, but it seemed like 100 <laughs> volunteers all behind the scenes, wearing the tags, helping us with the auctions, the silent auction, the live auction. So thank you all to our volunteers. Could not have done this without you. <laughs> so, and we thank our MCs. Thank you so much, John Lewis and Phil and I. I hope it's Crystal. <laughs> <laughs>